Hello everyone and I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you guys how to get yourself prepared for structured PvP. Um, as you can see my character has a couple gear, sword, um, some definitely cool weapons. Uh, so you can see the different type of gears you can get in PvP. Now the way I've been getting these gears so far is that I go into pretty much I come over here to this dude, the glory vendor, right? Purchase a salvage kit for a hundred. I already have that in my inventory. Um, come down here, look for a chest, right? Open up the chest, and usually that gives me some gear, but I already had gear. So what you want to do is you want to break down the gear that you don't need. So I don't use a uh, rifle, so I don't need that or a pistol. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that down right with the salvage kit and then that's going to give me a tiger token which I can use in the mystic forge to produce a pvp weapon so I'm going to go ahead and break down everything else because you need about four of them you need three of them plus what I'm going to show you right now to make yourself a weapon so I'm going to go back to the salvage kits do I have any more salvage kits? no I'm done so I need to buy more salvage kits from him right and you can buy 15 when you purchase one come down here see if we can break down some more stuff I don't need that so basically you're just looking for gear that you want from the PvP matches uh, through the treasure chest and just breaking whatever you don't need down let's see I don't need that one and this axe I don't need either so I'm gonna break it down break down the stuff all right, that should be enough. So now, if you go over here, let's see. Uh, this guy has a second tab also. So that's where a lot of people don't notice it or didn't know how to get through this part. So you click him, you go to the second tab, the item tokens. Now, consumable token, I haven't messed with it yet. Uh, so I don't know what it does, but we'll go ahead and purchase one. And then uh, let's say you wanted to make a new weapon. So let's say like a another great sword. I'm gonna buy the great sword token, right? And now I'm gonna head over to the Iron Forge. So the Iron Forge, I mean the Mystic Forge, they put into uh, different areas. Now it's in Dub Dub. It's in the Heart of the Mist, so it's in a it's couple in, places, uh, not just in Lion's Arch anymore. So go ahead and click here. Now let's say I wanted that great sword, right? So the great sword is what I want to turn this into. So I'm gonna click that first. You don't have to do it in any order as long as the great sword's there. Click one of this, one of this, and one of that. And then it says these items create a match, hit create, and then it forges your new weapon. So now I got a tribal greatsword. So let's see how that puppy looks. Hit inventory, go to my tribal. Oh yeah, that looks badass. Oh, definitely badass. All right. Let's go ahead and do one more because I haven't done the consumable token, so I wanted to see exactly what it does. So let's hit that, put that. Oh, it's telling me I need one more. Let's see if I can get a dust from somewhere. Break this down. What don't I need? Let's see, I don't need that axe. Nine, so I need one more arcane dust. Mm -hmm. Looking for something to break down. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. All right, so now I'll go back to the forge, put one of those, put one of those. And let's see what this creates. Glory booster. All right, I got those before from tre treasure chest, so that's not all that. Um, and that's pretty much how you create weapons in the Mystic Forge, at least through the PvP section. Now I wanted to come over here and show people who are not uh, don't know about PvPing much in structured PvP why you always get owned. It's pretty much because you don't have any seagulls or ruins. Um, so let me start with this vendor right here. As soon as you log in, you want to come to this vendor, right? And then you want to purchase your amulet, which is your neck piece. And then if you click the second tab, it's a jewel that attaches to the amulet. So that's something you definitely want to do. 
and then you want to come over here to your armor vendor click here and then you can see all the PvP gear um, and then the runes which is the most important part so you want to get six of them so you can apply it to okay. your inventory like so so you just pretty much click it and then you can attach it to whatever I already have runes on uh, rune of rage on all of my guys so you see six of six because it's on all my gear now I need to get something for my tribal greatsword that I just made and I already have some runes here so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put it uh, I like quickness it seems like it's OP right now so go ahead and attach and that's how you attach runes and seagulls so that's attached that's attached got my swords and then after you do the gear you want to come over here to the weapons vendor once you get the weapons vendor you want to click here you have your weapons here click the seagulls and then pick whatever you want to attach to your weapon and there's a whole bunch of different types of buffs you can get from stuns to condition damage to crit plus uh, to a lot of different things um, so it's very very cool and uh, that'll pretty much end this introduction to PvP and how to set your character up from the beginning. You got to do this before you get in the game. It's a huge difference to your character, like huge.